Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, I'm starting off this video with a walk through my neighborhood, having a nice stroll here as we move along. But I'm really excited today to share with you my thoughts on a Criterion Collection release that I just had the opportunity to watch and absorb, and that is the 1968 film Mandabi, directed by Osman Samben, also known as the father of African cinema. So let me finish this walk and then I'll get cleaned up and we'll talk about this great release from the Criterion Collection. Okay, so I'm back from my walk. I really enjoy those walks in the neighborhood because from my front porch to the entrance of my subdivision is about two miles. So I walk from my front porch to the end of the subdivision all the way back. So it's about four miles all together. So it's a pretty good workout and we have some nice hills where I live. So it really works the glutes and the, I guess the quadriceps or whatever leg muscle groups are involved when you're walking up the uh, hills and incline. So it's a good workout overall. So glad to be back and glad to have some time to talk with you about this really, really good film from Senegalese African director Osman Samben, his film Mandabi. So Mandabi is Osman Samben's second feature film following up from 1966's Black Girl, which I have here as well. And really today I just want to share my thoughts on both of these really, really excellent films that have recently been released by the Criterion Collection. And I have to say that overall I am really happy to see Criterion making and continuing to make the concerted effort to expand the horizons of the already broad array of cinema that they offer um, in the films that they select for their special treatment and their special editions. So they put a lot of work into restoring these films and you know bringing them to the highest levels of quality from a video and audio standpoint. And I think the work that they did on both of these titles, both Mandabi and Black Girl, are really great examples of the work that Criterion does. So kudos to Criterion for continuing to just push the boundaries of what they're offering and just continuing to expand the horizons of the world cinema that they highlight. And this is an excellent example of that with this great film from the continent of Africa, from Osman Samben, called Mandabi. Mandabi is in the African language Wolof, and it means the money order. And this is a really fascinating film, not only from the film itself, but the window through which you get to see a piece of African history. And you get to experience really a story from Africa, from Africans, from an African director. And I think that's a huge part of what makes this film so special and one that I personally want to continue to revisit in the future. So in short, Mandabi is about a man who lives in Senegal. He's played by actor Makharedia Gouye, and he plays a character named Ibrahima Dieng. So he's a man who lives in Senegal with his two wives and his children in the capital city of Dakar, in a shanty town in Dakar. And one day they receive a money order from a relative who lives in Paris, France. And the receipt of this money order sets in motion a series of events that changes the lives of this family. So that's really what this story is about. And I'll just sort of leave it there because I think you need to experience seeing this film for yourself and seeing how the story unfolds and really getting a glimpse into African life during this time. Senegal achieved independence from France in April of 1960. So this film is taking place in that early post-colonial period. And it's just a great glimpse into the history of Africa and Senegal during this time that I, I just found to be extremely fascinating in terms of the way that people lived in that particular area of Dakar and Senegal and the shanty towns. The treatment of the women is a big part of this film that I think is very eye-opening. And this film contains some pretty strong sociological, cultural, and political messages. That's one of the themes of 
Osman Semben's filmmaking is that his films contain some pretty strong political messages around really the history of Africa during this time and covering topics such as post-colonialism, the political environment within these African nations. And it's really, quite honestly, something that I want to better understand. And a big reason why I want to continue to revisit this film because there's so much from a messaging standpoint that's going on in this film that is part of the reason why not only do I want to revisit this film, but it's also part of the reason why I really appreciate Criterion bringing films like this forward to really open up people's eyes to this aspect of world history. And then also to offer up to you as a recommendation, if you're interested in expanding your view of world cinema and you have an interest in learning a little bit more about African history, this is a pretty, pretty good place to start. So as I look at these two titles, I've got Mandabi here from Osman Semben, and I've got his first feature film, Black Girl. This film's from 1966, this film's from 1968. And the way I look at these two films is both of these films really would make a great companion piece. So if you're looking to expand your horizons in the Criterion Collection, you wanna know a little bit more about world history, world culture, you have an interest in African cinema, I would strongly recommend considering picking up these two titles on the next Barnes & Noble or Amazon sale or the next Criterion Collection flash sale. These would be great companion pieces to watch together as part of a double feature that I think really gives a good glimpse into African cinema. Black Girl was Osman Semben's first feature film. It's from 1966, and it stars this beautiful young lady here on the cover here. And I'm gonna read here her name so I don't mispronounce it too badly. Embassini Therese Diop. So she plays Duan, a Senegalese woman who leaves her poor upbringing in Dakar to take a job in France where she's treated harshly and marginalized. And this also stars Anne-Marie Jelinek as Madame, and Robert Fontaine plays Monsieur. So this is a great film. This is about a young lady who lives in Senegal, in Dakar, the capital city. She sees a job opportunity in Paris, France, and she takes it. And when she arrives in Paris, France, hoping for a better life, she basically finds herself in an enslaved and bondage condition working in servitude in this house for this uh, young couple in Paris. And she finds herself worse off than she would have been if she had just stayed in Senegal. So Black Girl is an excellent feature film debut from Osman Semben that really highlights the story of this young lady during this part of her life and her experiences leaving Senegal going to Paris, France, and what she encountered in terms of the racism, the marginalization, uh, the servitude, and just the bondage situation that she found herself in when she arrived. All right, so let me read the back of the cover here of this title, Mandabi, The Money Order. Shot primarily in Wolof, this second feature by Osman Semben was the first ever made in an African language a major step toward the realization of the trailblazing Senegalese filmmaker's dream of creating a cinema by, about, and for the inhabitants of his home continent. After jobless, Ibrahima Dieng receives a money order for 25,000 francs from a nephew who works in Paris, news of his windfall quickly spreads among his neighbors, who flock to him for loans even as he attempts to cash the order are stymied in a maze of bureaucratic obstacles and new troubles rain down on his head. One of Semben's most curiscatingly funny and indignant films, Mandabi, an adaptation of a novella by the director himself, is a bitterly ironic depiction of a society scarred by colonialism and plagued by corruption, greed, and poverty. So this description by Criterion beautifully summarizes this film. I read the back of Black Girl as well. Osman Semben was one of the greatest and most groundbreaking filmmakers who ever lived, as well as the most renowned African director of the 20th century, and yet his name still deserves to be better known in the rest of the world. He made his feature debut in 1966 with the brilliant and stirring Black Girl. Semben, who was also an acclaimed novelist in his native Senegal, transforms a deceptively simple plot about a young Senegalese woman who moves to France to work for a wealthy white family and finds that life in their small apartment becomes a prison 
both figuratively and literally, into a complexly layered critique of the lingering colonialist mindset of a supposedly post-colonial world. Featuring a moving central performance by Embassine Therese Diop, Black Girl is a harrowing human drama, as well as a radical political statement in one of the essential films of the 1960s. I could not agree more. I mean, when I look at both of these films, this 1966 film, Black Girl, Osman Semben's feature film debut, and his second film, Mandabi, I cannot think of a better double feature to consider picking up on the next Barnes & Noble Criterion sale, Amazon sale, the next Flash sale. If you're looking for a couple of films to expand your horizons of world history, your horizons of African history, if you wanna know more about a director that you may not know much about, who I did not know much about, Osman Samben, before I, I watched these films, it definitely makes me want to know more about this director and more about his works. But I highly recommend picking up both of these titles on the next sale. So real quick note on the AV presentations of both of these discs. These are both 4K digital restorations and they both look fantastic. I mean, they both look really, really good. 4K digital restorations. I think Criterion did an excellent job restoring both of these films. And so I was very pleased with that. If you look inside the Black Girl edition, you have this nice insert and you the disc art here of Embassine Therese Diop is, is excellent. On the inside here, you have this city art here, which I presume to be Senegal. I don't think this is Paris. I think this is Senegal. And then on here, inside you have this excellent, excellent essay called Self-Possessed by Ashley Clark. So this is an essay by Ashley Clark included in here, as well as information uh, about the film, the cast, and everything that went into the restoration of this film. So this is a really nice insert from Criterion. And overall, the supplements for Black Girl I thought were really good and give you some insight into Osman Semben as a filmmaker. One of the highlights included in this package is a 4K restoration of the short film Barom Soret, which is director Osman Samben's acclaimed 1963 debut. So that came out a few years before Black Girl came out, and that also received a 4K digital restoration as well. So this is a really, really nice addition from Criterion. I know that the review today is mostly on Mandabi, but I had to make it sort of a double feature inclusive of Black Girl. I think these both make a great double feature to watch to learn more about Osman Samben, to learn more about African cinema, to learn more about the history of this part of the world. I cannot recommend these two titles highly enough uh, for that purpose. So definitely check it out. Following up from Black Girl, the special features on Mandabi are excellent. First of all, included in here, this here is the inside of the disc case, which is, has some nice art there, and you see the art on the disc itself, you get these two nice inserts included in the package. The first insert includes an essay from Tiana Reed called Paper Trail, which is really good that you ought to take a chance to read when, when you get a chance. You see his two wives on here, the two wives of Ibrahima from the film. And you've got an interview with Osman Samben that, that's included in here as well, as well as information about the cast and the credits in the film, the transfer, that information on the restoration. So that's excellent. Another highlight of this release is you also get the short story upon which Mandabi, the money order, is based. So this is the actual short story from Osman Samben called The Money Order, and this is what the film was actually based on. So this is the short story that's the basis for the film, which I think is a great inclusion to include in this overall release. As far as the special features on the disc itself, there are some really nice features on here that you'll want to take advantage of. And these special features highlight Osman Samben as a filmmaker, as a revolutionary, as a filmmaker that made political statements in his films, as a filmmaker that talked about post-colonial life in Africa and really brought those stories to life. And it really, really highlights the importance that he brought to 
bringing forth African stories from Africans, which is something that he brought to the forefront and that I'm so glad that Criterion has brought with additions like Mandabi and with Black Girl. So within Mandabi, there's a couple of features on here that I want to highlight. So at the top, you've got a new introduction by film scholar Abakar Sanogo. And he does a nice job of talking about Simbin and talking about the themes in his films. So that's a good place to start with the supplements on this disc. And then you go into a really nice new conversation with author and screenwriter Bobakar Boris Diop and sociologist and feminist activist Marie Angelique Savain. The two of them really break down Osman Sembin as a filmmaker and talk about the themes behind his films and talk about Sembin as a filmmaker. And that is a very, very, very fascinating watch that quite honestly, I wanna watch again because they went really deep into Osman Sembin as a filmmaker, as, a, as an African man and what he was trying to communicate in his films. And quite honestly, I didn't pick up on everything that they were talking about initially, which is why I wanna revisit it because there's so much depth that went into making both of these films. I'm still absorbing them. I'm still processing what I've seen in these two films. And they're two of the more fascinating films that I've seen in recent years. Of course, I saw Black Girl when it came out from Criterion in 2017, so I've had this edition for a few years, but I recently picked up this one as part of the flash sale from February. So this has been a fantastic, fantastic addition to my personal library and one that I recommend adding to yours as well. But the special features on here are excellent. The essay and the novella that's included in here is excellent as well. So overall, the supplementary package for Mandabi as well as for Black Girl both serve to highlight Osman Samben as a filmmaker and his contributions to African cinema. He's called the father of African cinema. And when you see the supplements, on both of these discs, you really gain an appreciation for why he's called the father of African cinema. His pioneering work creating films in Africa in the 1960s is a huge part of the reason why he's called the father of African cinema. When you see the films themselves, you'll just gain a greater appreciation for Osman Samben as a director. And I personally want to explore more of his filmography as I go forward, but I'm just so happy that Criterion has brought both of these films forward. So. Kudos to Criterion, keep up the great work. Those are my thoughts on Mandabi, and I've also included Black Girl in this sharing of my thoughts review, uh, if you would. These are two great additions from Criterion. I can't speak enough about them. I highly recommend considering picking these up on the next sale. They just open up a window to an aspect of cinema and of history of Africa and just another part of the world that if you have any interest in, you would do yourself a huge favor by picking these two editions up from Criterion and just watching them as a double feature and then going through the supplements and just sort of letting it wash over you as, as I've done. And I actually want to revisit both of these works to really just dive a little bit deeper into Osman Sembin's themes in his films and really the messages that he's bringing forward as a filmmaker in these films, as well as the other films that he has created. All right, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on Mandabi and Black Girl, directed by Osman Semben and recently released by the Criterion Collection. So I, I just wanted to share my thoughts on these two movies because I think they're just extraordinary examples of world cinema that I think more people would benefit from partaking in. So just wanted to share my thoughts with you on it. I figured I started this video outside, I might as well end it outside. So taking another stroll through my neighborhood. So let me know in the comments below if you have a copy of Mandabi or Black Girl, and if you've had a chance to see it, and what your thoughts are on those films. I think they're excellent films from Osman Simbin, and they've really opened my eyes to another section of cinema that I want to explore, you know, further and learn more about. Also, let me know in the comments below, what titles are you most looking forward to picking up in the next Barnes & Noble sale? Let me know that in the comments below. As always, thanks again for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time in the movies. Peace.